Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive, not just with their new books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about the new Star Wars TV shows, the new Star Wars movies that are currently in the works as well, that's really going to really evolve the Star Wars franchise between what John, George, and Dave are doing as we speak. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that a lot of fans around the world have been embracing is the fact that Mark Hamill is, of course, going to be doing quite a number of exciting things with John and Dave and how his involvement in Star Wars is nowhere near as close to over yet. You know, he has worked on Mando Season 2, The Book of Boba Fett, and will be returning in future Star Wars projects. As we have discussed, Mark Hamill is involved in a multi-show contract with John and Dave, so he will be returning as Luke in several different ways. As ILM keeps on revolutionizing technology, introducing new ways of doing this, and so on and so forth. However, what really kind of raises an eyebrow is what Mark Hamill recently had to say about his involvement with John and Dave, and what John and Dave were able to tell Mark Hamill about what to expect, and what Mark Hamill recently told the fans about what we are to expect in the future Star Wars shows when it comes to how Luke is going to evolve, and exactly how John and Dave are going to actually create Luke Skywalker. So, given that Mark Hamill, as you all know, he seems he's been more happy recently based on how John and Dave are respecting the character of Luke, unlike with what happened in The Last Jedi. Now, of course, what's really exciting on top of all of this is that with both Disney and Lucasfilm actively developing a handful of new Star Wars TV shows, both Favreau and Filoni are actively creating The Mandalorian Season 4. Now, it's described, however, that in a recent interview with Mark Hamill, he went on to talk about some exciting things about Luke Skywalker's return in the Mandalorian series and other TV shows by John and Dave. Now, Mark Hamill went on to state the following to the fans. What John and Dave have been discussing with me about Luke's future has simply been mind-boggling. I mean, it's something that I believe is really going to take fans back to their childhood with the books that were published decades ago. What I can say is that they are raising the bar for Luke. They are about to show the fans how he is going to be the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy that we know of by utilizing some brand new powers in certain circumstances. It's been really exciting based on what they have been doing. They are also going to be exploring different avenues for Luke, giving him different designs and even changing his personality in some ways. We discussed it all and it's going to be quite something for the fans to see in the near future that we will be able to talk about in depth right around Celebration. Now before I get to the next thing here that Mark Hamill mentions, all right, that's going to get more exciting is that we talked about this too prior to what Mark Hamill said is that what John and Dave are essentially doing in the Mandoverse, so to speak, is that they are using this as a foundation to really creating a baseline for Luke Skywalker to evolve and to kind of find himself in what Mark Hamill says, certain circumstances that allows him to really evolve as a character, not just, you know, when it comes to his inner work, but when it also comes to his powers that he's about to utilize, like Mark Hamill says, against his foes or in certain situations. Now, the thing about this that's really exciting is that if you guys have read Star Wars Legends, a lot of the books and the comics back in the day really showed us what Luke could really do in those stories. And some of which, yes, uh, a lot of fans had some issues with because there were times where Luke's powers went way overboard, like I'm talking about astronomical, you know, way overboard. Uh, but there were other times that some of his powers were very impressive. Now the thing about this too that confirms all of this is the fact that Mark Hamill basically is confirming that we are going to get Luke Skywalker in action in future Star Wars TV shows, be it Mando Season 4, or other TV shows and other spin-offs that surround those TV series. I mean, there's a lot at play here that John and Dave are really creating. Now, the thing about this too that I think a lot of fans need to be aware of is that they are going to begin production for The Mandalorian Season 4 sometime by the end of next year. 
And by the time the end of next year comes around, we will be learning a whole lot more about how they are going to be utilizing Luke Skywalker in all of that, right? As Mark Hamill likes to say. So past all of this, all right, this is where things begin to pick up, is that he goes on to say the following. I just cannot wait. What really moved me was the powers that Luke is about to use in the upcoming projects that we had discussed and what that means for Luke and how he evolves as a character through his strength with the Force. ILM is doing amazing things. From what I read and talked about with them, the Luke you saw in Season 2 of Mando and Boba Fett was just a taste of what they are about to do with my character. I am so thrilled to be a part of this for the fans. Things like Luke's love life, him changing the Jedi Order, and more will also be a big focus. We just cannot wait for everybody to see it all. That's about all I can really say. So Mark Hamill kind of teasing us of what to expect and also not being able to really kind of go into details there. But this all alludes to what's been happening behind the scenes with The Mandalorian Season 4's storyboards, as we, as we have discussed, many of which have been finalized for the script, and that's going to be thrown into the actual story. One of which involves a flashback to the days of the Battle of Jakku, where Luke is going to take down a massive Star Destroyer. Now, these were storyboards that were originally meant for Rangers of the New Republic that have been salvaged and will be thrown into Mando 4. And this is also confirmed by Jon Favreau when he talked about this a couple of weeks ago, that he will be taking a lot of elements from Rangers of the New Republic and throwing them into other TV shows. And as you all know, Rangers was supposed to be the lead up to the Battle of Jakku. It was gonna take place simply one day all the way to one year after the Battle of Endor. It was gonna be a very progressive show that went through time. And it was gonna conclude with the Battle of Jakku. That was the overall end game by John and Dave for that series that unfortunately fell apart and really just, you know, got canceled altogether and never really saw the light of day. Thankfully though, John and Dave are really taking the core elements of that series and throwing it into shows like The Mandalorian Season 4, the Ahsoka series, and more unannounced Star Wars shows such as the Bo-Katan TV show, which by the way will be unveiled at Celebration of 2023, so get ready for all of that. So overall, what's really exciting here too is that everyone needs to be aware that we will also be getting new designs for Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian series and the other TV shows that surround them. So what does this really mean? This could very well mean that Luke is going to have, you know, a different hairstyle, different outfits, you know, different attire, if you will. Uh, he could very well appear older in some circumstances, certain, you know, episodes of some certain series based on when they're going to be placed in the timeline. There's a lot at work here and John and Dave are looking at the bigger picture. So that's what I like about them. You know, they really are thinking large and outside of the box. So overall, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>